Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Secret of Mana, where we are now back in the desert area. I s just skipped ahead uh, because that's really all that happened. Uh, like, I went to the uh, ice area, got the fire seed, and really the only thing left for me to do was just to get back here. Um, any unique dialogue? Ah, thanks for bringing the mana seed back. Fairy Walnut? Oh, please, huh? You mean... Oh, you were talking about the mana seed. Sorry. Watch out for monsters when you return the seed. So that is what I need to do now, is remember where the... <laughs> the fire temple was, which I believe it was west, uh, and go there. Actually, hold on. I just realized something. I almost screwed up because I did not bother... Uh, leveling up my weapons because I managed to get a few orbs. Uh, I got the glove orb, I remember off the top of my head, uh, the bow, I think. So the Moogle Claws have become Chakra Hand. Uh, let's see. The Load Boomerang is now the Rising Sun. Okay, that is actually a pretty cool name for a weapon. And the longbow is now the great bow. And I think that is it. Um, so now I guess I shall consider who is using what weapon. Like, he has to upgrade with the chakra hand, the, the rising sun, <laughs> and the great bow. So I'm going to have him start with the the chakra hand. Um, sprites. I forget if he actually has multiple things going on. Um, yeah, I think everybody's all kind of caught up right now, actually. Except the spear. And let's check if she's still going with the spear. I think she is. Yes. So in that case, I'm going to have him use the Great Bow. And then we'll make our way over to the Fire Temple. Kind of skipping over these areas that are covered in quicksand because, like, the quicksand enemies are usually a little bit tricky. They stay hidden most of the time. take out the Mad Mallard's bomb. Okay. There goes that guy. Damn it. At the, the, it's kind of interesting. Like, uh, the, the, the uh, pumpkin bombs were just a regular enemy, but it makes sense that they would be thrown... Um, by villains. Also, I think I, I find myself uh, generally uh, on the more powerful side. Like, I think I've... The, the, the progression of, of this game is relatively slow. Like, it started off with uh, our heroes doing maybe like single digits worth of damage. No, we're not going to bother with that guy. No, get... Keep going. I, I don't want to bother with him only because he just appears and then reappears and then... Like, if he stayed there, I'd be like, sure, that's alright. Um... Oh, hello. Damn it, Trebek. Alright, somebody uh, got a skill up or a level up. Ah, Nick leveled up. Ooh, and Ripley leveled up as well. Okay, so I can't climb up that way. So I believe the path was going down here. And this is kind of leads to one of my uh, earlier complaints was that uh, the usage of spells on crystals 
um, doesn't make much sense. Like, the first time you use a spell on a crystal... Like, sure. Um, I believe you had to use ice in order to kind of freeze some water to cross it. And that makes sense. The second time, you're supposed to use wind, and it reacts to wind. But now you're using fire in a fire chasm on a crystal. I'm pretty sure I have to use fire of some sort. And that causes... They blew the fire out with an explosion. They used fire. It caused an explosion. Hmm. That was very disappointing. Oh, hello. That was not good because... Nick is just trapped in his fire. I was better off in the blue drop area where he was just being turned into a frosty. Which I guess that leads more towards that Christmas uh, motif that the, uh, the ice area was in. Considering the fact that I had to save Christmas. Huh. Oh, I'm on this upper area. There we go. Oh, hello. What is in you? Hopefully a special item of some sort. It's money. I suppose money is special. And a dead end. Ah, and Sprite leveled up. Okay, I'm just gonna see what's in... There is nothing in this direction. Great. So if I go too quickly... Um, or if I get too close to these guys, I'm a little bit worried that uh, Nick will just start on fire. Oh, was that like a grab move? Ah, damn it. And Sprite's engulfed. Okay, so I'm just going to skip till after uh, this group of uh, red drops are dead. Okay, so that's done. Um, let's see where this one goes, just to see. Okay, so that one goes back to the main hall. Um, let's see, this... Uh, Ripley's engulfed now, which means... And Sprite's engulfed? Okay, they're uh, basically almost dead. So, which one was Ripley? That one. Damn it. That is a very, very unfortunate ability. Uh, that is made slightly worse from the fact that, well, I, I guess everybody's range is pretty low. Okay, I'm going to skip this too. Alright, so there is nothing up here either. Kind of odd that they would keep two identical chambers with nothing in them. Alright, he was pretty easy. Um, okay. Maybe this uh, crystal will change uh, the appearances of those dead ends. 
Salamando's magic will work. The trouble is it doesn't seem very consistent as to which of Salamando's magic works. Like I could try a Exploder again, but Exploder uses a lot of mana. And that does nothing. This has just become a trial and error to see what the game expects me to do. And that does nothing. That extended a bridge. Makes Perfect sense. Okay, Nick is leveled up with the Chakra Hand. Now he can move on to the Rising Sun. Rabbit's Foot is what they are called? Alright, so there's a path up and there's a path across. I don't know what way is forward. I'm guessing that is not... Or it might be. There are a lot of paths to go down. Okay, I'm gonna go back down and then go across this bridge. Ah, damn it. I didn't intend to pick up that. Oh, quilted hood. I, um, I could use this as an excuse to start opening um, oh, he can't wear it. Open chests again. It's 26. Alright, that's convenient. Oh, yep, and this one is just... Oh, somebody with an arrow just leveled up. That was the... That was this guy. Which means now he can go to the... So he's uh, level 4 with the Great Bow. Now he can either use the Spear, the Rising Sun, or the Chakra Hand. So I'll have him use the... Chakra Hand. And I believe she is still... Working on the spear. Does this have an item or money? It has money. Okay, so upstairs is the way forward. Oh. Just one guy that time. Alright, now I'm gonna ignore this cloud I probably shouldn't oh hello was that the exploding pumpkin that just exploded the thing is I just don't have enough magic to deal with every single cloud that comes my way So, oh, let's see where this goes. It's a little bit of a maze now. But at the same time, I don't think I really want him... Ah, damn it. Now I'm on fire. Okay, people, come along. We got... Actually, let's heal while we can before somebody does a spell, because spells interrupt movement. So just in case one of these guys decides, you know what? I'm going to throw down a spell. Oh, hello. Hello. Looks like I'm going to have to be pulling out the whip pretty soon, I think. 
Oh, it's this area. It's the other side of the uh, beginning of the game. Or the beginning of the uh, fire temple. Okay. But what did that do? <laughs> I'm somewhat surprised that missed, but I guess we're just going to have to roll with that. Alright, let's swap out to the whip so we can cross this chasm. I think this guy's getting in the way. I think, yeah, I think this guy's getting in the way of uh, my attempt to... Uh, Yeah, because he's just standing right next to the, uh, to the whip position. Finally. Okay, uh, back to the rising sun. This is definitely a temple, like, um, you're not expected to go through multiple times. Also, another crystal, what is it going to expect me to do? Probably it's also going to respond to Salamando, but I figure it's important to check. Especially since I'm almost out, Undine's magic will work. Who is Undine again? Undine is the, uh, water... So, probably the, uh, freeze, if I had to guess. Um. Oh. Okay. I am not entirely sure how that order of events... Oh, look, it's a boss arena where bosses happen. Oh my gosh, he's got a command grab. Sprite's unconscious. Okay. Um, he's going to need to take a fairy walnut. And I'm also going to have uh, Ripley heal everybody and then check how many hit points this guy has. Although I feel like this guy isn't going to be quite as bad as the previous boss. Um, no particular reason. Um, let's hit him with some Acid Rain because he doesn't seem particularly related. Uh, like... It doesn't seem like there's a requisite, uh, like he's vulnerable to flame or vulnerable to ice. And while he's doing that, she can analyze him. Okay, so he's got about 1,100. Fears Sylphid. So he fears the wind. Uh, let's see how much a, um, a Thunderbolt does. That did, like, nothing. That was... Okay, let's try... Because it's very specific in regards to, uh... In regards to what attacks work. Also, let's switch, uh, these weapons out. Now that I'm fighting a boss, I probably should have people using their best. Um, and also, let's have him be a little bit more in the background with a great bow. And also, drop some acid rain. That seems to be the 
my go-to... Damn it! Is everybody unconscious? Yes, it... Still... Not quite as uh, damaging as I'd like... Ah, damn it! His command grab is too strong. Nick, thank you for getting up. And you know what? I'm just gonna... I don't know what he's doing right there, but it looks... It looks like something? How about it looks stronger than it actually was? Oh, hello. He grew uh, horns of slowdown. Yeah, I don't see this guy as being too much of a pushover. Um, let's heal everybody. And then also analyze the big bad. Just to see where we're at. And Nick's unconscious. And Ripley's magic went up, and 326. Okay, now let's hit him again with some acid rain. Oh, Earth Slide level 7. Fancy. Um, okay. So... Heal the party, and then... Acid Rain. And there he goes! Down for the count. Yeah, I didn't expect that, like, uh, th this one is, is much easier, because for one thing, the enemy stayed on screen the whole time. Uh, he wasn't constantly, uh, falling, coming apart and coming back together and only available to hit in, like, one specific moment. And Ripley leveled up, Nick leveled up. Ah! The seeds on the stage. Hold up the sword! I'm gonna walk up to it with the axe, see if that even matters. Received the seed's power. Excellent. Which means I've already taken care of uh, four of the eight temples. All right. Am I going to have to go through this entire temple in order to get back to the desert? I mean, I guess at the very least there are no enemies in this building anymore. So, there's that. I'm just going to skip to the next thing. Oh, hold up. I've got this thing called a magic rope. I keep forgetting that I, I forget that I even have that item. And it just takes me back to the beginning of a dungeon. Also, this seemed to have cured all the enemies outside of the dungeon. And everything's green again? Were they, was it always green? No, nope. I guess it stopped the monsters for so long. But there are still many mad mallards out there. Nope, not good enough. There we go. Come on, come on. All right. Let's, I'm just going to race straight ahead to the town. Now, in theory, in Kakara, 
They will have water again? They don't have water again. Hmm. Interesting. I thought that would solve their problems, but I guess their problems are deeper than that. Ah, uh, get it? Their problems are deeper than their wells? Uh, I'll stop. Nah, I can't stop, won't stop. That's a lie. Uh, but at the very least, I can continue... See what I'm supposed to do next, because that kind of... Limit... I, I don't think there were any planned destinations after the... Uh, after the desert and the ice. Um, let's upgrade the javelin, I believe. Which goes from light tridents to load javelin. And I think that's it. And then also there should be an item store where I can stock up on fairy walnuts, which I used up and magic ropes, which I clearly need because they are nice, convenient ways to get out of battle. Or should I say out of a... Uh... Hmm. There is no item shop. All right. Let's see what these guys have to say now. The seed hasn't brought the water back. Mana's growing weaker. If only we had a sea hare's tail. Without one, this realm is finished. You've brought back the fire seed, thanks, but our water still hasn't returned. Everyone's moving away. I think I'll move to the Empire. Now even cannon travel has a route there. I'm guessing that's the route I'm supposed to take now. Yes, yes, our wells have run dry. Oh, here's the item shop. So now, oh, he doesn't have any uh, magic ropes for sale. I probably have to go to the cat vendor. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I the magic rope is a continuous item. That's very convenient. Um, yeah. All right, so that taken care of, let's check out the cannon travel system and see about going to the Empire. Matango Ice Country or the Empire, which the game was not able to actually list in one dialogue box. Keep a low profile while in the Empire. I'm sure we will not stick out at all. Us random children. Oh. Goes from cannon travel to other cannon travel. Hmm. Greetings and salutations, sir. This is Empire South Town. Empire South Town is very linear. A woman named Mara lives here. She's a nutcase. Okay, I'm guessing I have to talk to her. Mara always carries around a little box. Okay. That doesn't sound odd at all. Oh, this is an inn and shop. Oh, nope, it's just an inn. But at least he does save games for free. Also, that's a very official looking desk in the background. These days, the Emperor has such bizarre thoughts. Seeking peace, he prepares for war. He even has a force of monsters in the castle. Okay. Go away. 
Go away! Go away! Alright, I guess I'm going away. But I'm guessing uh, that's uh, part of the secret rebellion that's going on. Which isn't a very good secret that they're keeping, considering how obvious and out in the open they are. No, Siri, nobody asked for your assistance. Are you Mero? Ha! I know who you are. Gemma's friends, right? See, I'm really a Taznikin spy. So was my husband till he got caught. I'm continuing his work. Enter North Town from the Resistance's sewer way east of here. Give the guard this secret number. Six, three, four. Okay. That was a much shorter meeting than I expected. And why do why am I limited from going to North Town? Also, there seems to be no obvious path to North Town. No loitering. South Town's not as big as North Town. I see. Well, actually, I don't see because I'm only looking at South Town right now. But I guess let's go give this secret rebel who is very secretive the secret code word. Try the secret number. Six, three, four. Enter. Oh, that was... Oh, hello. The rebellion is guarding a door to a place filled with monsters. And that fish is firing missiles from its face. Who are... Like, who's, who is the Rebellion protecting? Themselves or the people who, are, who might be tempted to cross to North Town? There we go. Because Sprite is almost, like, half dead and we just kind of, like, walked into this place. Oh, and now... Sp Ripley is all done with the spear, so she can move on to the load javelin. Uh, which is this. It looks kind of like a fork. Ah, that was convenient. That was inconvenient. Because Sprite was the one who was lowest on... on health, so... Damn it, I was hoping to, like, sneak by them. Oh my gosh, what the hell. There we go. Because for some reason I didn't want to bother fighting them from below the staircase. Although this might take a while, so one second. Okay, they're done. Um, now we can move on to the next room, which will surely have even... Actually, I think the, this guy is like trapped on top of this tower thingy. So really, all I have to do is just keep throwing a boomerang at him again and again until uh, they all die. So hold on one second. Okay, that was actually pretty fast. Oh no, there's another one. And there's another fish that's firing missiles from its face. Damage. There we go, okay. 
So at the very least, I took out the guy who's repeatedly uh, duplicating himself. And there goes one fish. Dino fish. It's kind of interesting that uh, the only way to really see an enemy's name is to perform a critical hit against them. Oh my gosh. There we go. Also, I probably should heal up. Even if it turns out to be a waste, it will at the very least help level up her uh, magic. And more of these guys. So one second. Okay, that's done. Let us move on to fight this fish. Who is a little bit of a tough guy. Um, enemies still kind of... Oh my gosh, where did you come from? Also, that was very convenient as now the rising sun is done. Uh, what else does Nick have to learn? He's done with the hand, the axe, the whip. The sword, the spear. So he just has the bow and the javelin. Is anybody using either of these things? And also... Now yeah, she's still doing the javelin. Um, and he's... I think he's still doing the fists. Yep. Also, it appears that the weapons, um, I don't know if the weapons are doing alternate, um, status effects that I'm just not aware of, like hitting them with a specific type of weapon. Uh, seems to, uh, cause confusion or sometimes tangles them up. Also, this seems to be a really, really good spot to fight these dino fish. Since I'm seemingly am able to hit them without them hitting me. There we go. Dino fish is not just confused, he's also dead. Is that why he's confused? I would imagine that would confuse me. I'd be like, wow, I was alive just moments ago. Okay. And also, like, because I'm not casting any spells that balloon enemies. Unfortunately, they are still casting spells that... Uh... Turn my characters into snowmen, which is not very convenient. But, like, just a regular battle these days is constant flow of text, of confusion, of spacing out. Sorry, Mad Mallard, you looked all relaxed over there, but now you're dead. Even your pumpkin bomb is dead. This is actually a pretty long, uh... Waterway. I wonder if uh, there's going to be a separate inn on the other side, or if I'm gonna have to fight a boss in order to get to North Town. Uh, what did I do? That was probably, yep, weapon skill up. So he's done with the chakra hand. I'm gonna have him switch to the... No, I think she's still got the spear going. Nope, she finished the spear, sorry. I'm gonna have him switch to the spear. Ah, the dang it. I clearly see one of them replicating enemies over there. Up to no good. Replicating himself. Ah, turning me into Frosty the Snowman. A 
told him I was done with Christmas. I saved Santa Claus. Don't need to bring that back. Okay, that took a while. And we got a dead end down here. Does this lead up to North Town? Nope, that just leads to more blue drops. Okay, luckily that one managed to be destroyed before he turned into a bunch of creatures. And I probably should take this guy out before he continues his bombing runs against me. How does Confusion, uh... There we go. I was gonna say, how does Confusion affect uh, monsters. Mm. Although I usually the enemies that are confused are just in the middle of being smacked every so often, so... There, now... Another one of these guys, and he, fro and he split into four different enemies. Great. See, the thing is, I could just keep going, but these guys are kind of easy experience. Okay, that took way too long. Um, but I think in that process, I leveled up a few times, uh, almost completed out the Great Bow for uh, Nick. Oh! Who are you, Imperial Spies? Hardly. Gemma told us about you. Welcome to the Resistance. Thanks, Chrissy. I'm Nick. How do you do? Wow, you're a woman? <laughs> oh my gosh. Jealous? Knock it off. I'm... Dilux girl. I don't know. On one hand, it's it's kind of interesting playing this after the whole Me Too movement. Uh, I guess is it at, really after or is this currently during? Um, but at the same time, you're like, oh my, this is a woman in charge of the rebellion I belong to this man is the style of the time you know you know Dialuk of course why a dialuk has been draining people's energy at the ruins to the east like in Pandora but why is Dialuk something must be controlling him we'll check on that No, come back. Chrissy is our leader. Okay. Good luck. Chrissy's dad founded the Resistance. When he was caught, she kept us together. She's only 18, but she's brilliant. All the trouble started about 15 years ago. Chrissy had to grow up too fast. People are very open about their leader to to new people. They just randomly talk, give you factoids. The Emperor has some powerful bodyguards. Sheik's Geshtar, Fana, and Thanatos. They're capable of anything. Also, notice how there are four bodyguards. There are four bodyguards, four temples. The Emperor's using his troops to find us. That seems reasonable. Let's get moving. People are sure busy in the ruins over there. To the east, I believe it was. It's fun playing war. No more war games. Here's the real thing. I've heard Chrissy crying at night. 
the Resistance's base is well disguised as a building. A coffee shop? Alright. We once fought the Republic. Yeah, item shop. Let's see what I can outfit myself with today. So, Sprite and Nick have tiger suits to wear, but Ripley can't wear the tiger suit. She can only wear the tiger kini, which provides stronger defense than the whole suit. Truly the mystery of mysteries. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.